One of the Pocono Mountain region's strongest advocates and tourism leaders passed away over the weekend at the age of 87. Newswatch 16's Amanda Eustace shares the legacy of Bob Bugasini. Known as Mr. Pocono, there's a lot you can say about a man who's known by the area he helped transform. A pioneer in putting the Pocono Mountains on the map for premier hospitality and tourism, Robert Ucassini passed away over the weekend from cancer. Senator Mario Scavello called him a colleague turned friend. He was a true friend. Um, you could sit down with Bob and have a laugh and talk about things that happened that we joke about it all the time. Yeah, I'm not going to go into specifics, but he was one of those guys that was always... He always had that smile on his face. And if he didn't agree, you would know by looking at him. Ugasini was the first president and CEO of the Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau, overseeing the Poconos when it was known as the honeymoon destination. Not only of Pennsylvania or the United States, but of the world. And that was a huge growth path for the Poconos. Chris Barrett is the current president and CEO of the Visitors Bureau. He says the resorts you see now throughout the Poconos region are here because of Ugasini. A little water park called Great Wolf Lodge decided to locate here and it opened in 2005. That was under his tenure. Okay. So he actually started the resurgence of the Pocono Mountains with indoor water parks. Those who knew him best say he dedicated his life to bettering the Poconos and help he missed. I, I'm going to miss the person and those type of people um, don't come around that often. And it's very, very hard to replace a man that his breadth of his knowledge. I was very fortunate yeah. to have been able to have that advice from him and to take his guidance and his mentorship. And I guess my thing is, moving forward, I hope I can provide that to somebody continue that because he would have liked that. Ugasini is survived by his three children as well as grandchildren and numerous friends. Amanda Eustace, Newswatch 16, Monroe County.